Hello and welcome to this uh, video tutorial. Um, in this series we're going to be talking about um, PDO which stands for uh, PHP Data Objects. Um, now if you don't know what PDO is uh, but you do know what MySQL is, I hope, well um, the standard MySQL functions, um, be it uh, MySQL uh, query etc, this is all um, going to be gone soon. You won't be able to use it. Therefore, you're going to have to find another method of querying um, a MySQL database or databases and so on, especially obviously MySQL. Now, you can use um, the, the native MySQL I um, functions, but I find that the PDO um, classes um, are, are far, far easier to use and far more flexible. Therefore, I'm going to talk you through how to use um, the PDO class uh, and objects uh, in a nice simple way. Okay, um, as with any database, you obviously have to have a database and the relevant um, login data and a database, username, password, and so on. So I've already gone ahead and created um, a database with a user of YouTube, password of 123456, and the database is called YouTube, and we're working off a local host at the moment. So if you do want any further information on um, PDO itself, you can just go to uh, php.net um, forward slash PDO and you'll have all the relevant information there. For the time being, let's show you how to connect to a, a database. And if I just come to here and show you that I have then um, the YouTube database here with one table of users um, with literally two columns in it. A user ID is the, um, the primary key and also then another column of name with just a few names in there just for the beginning. Okay, so how do we do this? Let's find the right screen first. There we go. Okay, so first of all what we have to do is initiate, uh, instantiate, sorry, um, a PDO object. Now, this takes a few parameters. The first um, argument needs to start with, with, with which driver you're using. Now, in this circumstance, we're going to be using MySQL. Therefore, we write simply MySQL. Follow them by a colon. Follow them by two additional mo more items. So we're going to say db name equals, and then up here we see that we've got db name already. So I'm just going to put in db name. Follow them by a semicolon, and then followed by a host. And we're just going to put in host here, right, regarding the variables that we've got. The second argument is then our user, and I've got the user already, which is YouTube. And then the third one is password. Once you do have this, y this will then obviously return a PDO object. So just to be safe and secure about um, our coding, let's just check to see whether um, everything has been configured OK. And if we have been connected, then we should see some text saying connected. So let's go ahead and try. It'll be deadly embarrassing if it's not. And as you can see, connected. So we're all working fine there. Yeah. Now, so that's now connected to the database as per um, the way that you would do, you do using uh, MySQL query. You would say a host, username, and password. Not much different, just the, the kind of structure of it is slightly different in the first one. You would also then do, obviously, MySQL um, select database, and you put the database in. This is done in a one so you'd make a new instance of the PDO object for every single connection to every single database that you would make. Now it can get a bit cumbersome after a while making new PDO objects, but we'll talk a little bit later about how to maybe shorten that down and use a few shortcuts. Okay, so now that we have connected to the database, uh, we want to just do a query, just to show you a, a short, sharp uh, query of um, what you can do in the simplest form. So, as you can see that we had our table with inside of our YouTube database of users and that's got then two columns user ID and name we just want to iterate through uh, all of these rows doing nothing more than a simple select statement so what can we do well all we have to do is r just say for each and then using the PDO objects we can use one of the methods in there of query and inside of that you guessed it we're going to write down our query. So we're just going to literally say PDO query and then select everything from users and that is going to return then an iterator object. Alright, it's actually going to return a PDO statement 
um, and we're just going to then um, iterate through it as a standard array and if we come here and just say um, print r and then of k of the key we'll then see um, the different objects which are inside of f okay or the arrays that is returned of the rows we'll just echo out um, pre so we get it a little bit cleaner come back to here refresh our page and as you can see now um, it returns then uh, four arrays with all the relevant information that we need that's very very nice very very simple um, if you're doing a very very simple select statement fine it serves all of its purposes now if we naturally want to go one step further and use maybe a like statement um, where we want to say name like and let's just for the sake of argument say um, anyone that's got a first name of David and just save that do it again Right. obviously making sure you put the where in as well okay and as you can see now it comes back um, with just David instead now all very nice all very simple but it, it still doesn't use PDO to its full extent because naturally if we were to use then um, a, a variable up here of David for example and that was then maybe in a post variable or a get variable etc if a, um, a form has been um, sent then we'll just come here and put David in there this still opens it up for SQL injection okay which is something that we don't want we want to minimize we want to eliminate any form of SQL injection now using the query statement is fine quick and simple but if you're going to write code write good code and write code that is going to be safe for everything and that's the whole idea of PDO is it's supposed to be there to eliminate all of these back doors all of this um, SQL injection therefore you should use it properly using another method which I'm going to show you later so that's basically the introduction to um, connecting to a PDO with PDO to a MySQL database um, we're going to uh, move on slightly further in the next tutorial um, but for the time being I hope you enjoyed it I hope it's a good quick short sharp introduction for you and see you in the next tutorial my name is David Thorne subscribe like thumbs up whatever you want to do um, and see you shortly bye bye then